Freddy, are you up here? There you are. Hey. What are, what are you doing? Circus, baby. Hey. Hey. Privacy. Okay. Why would I give you that? Because I'm freshening myself up. Why? Because I just want to look good. Lift your armpits. No. What? Why? Do this. Do it. Do okay. it. Okay. All right. Thank you. Ew! Get your nose out of there. Cologne deodorant. Let me see those nails. D what? Freshly manicured nails. I always wear deodorant and I manicure my nails once a week. You know that. Hmm. Is something going on, Freddy? Uh, nope. Well, then, uh, I'm sure you're probably not busy tonight. Do you want to hang out? Um, actually, I am a little busy tonight. <laughs> uh-huh, busy doing what, Freddy? Uh... Or should I ask, who? No. <laughs> Freddy... I haven't seen you put on cologne in like months. You and Blora even got to the point where you went on dates, you just wore sweatpants. Okay, to be fair, she also wore sweatpants too. It's fine, I'm just saying. You haven't put on cologne in a long time, so what's it about? Uh. Hey, what's that? What is what? Ready? Hey, no, you get back here. Ah! Ready? We're not playing hide and seek, Freddy. I know you're here. Marco. <laughs> Freddy, are you in the pantry? No. Where the heck did you go? Oh. Oh, darn it. Hi, Freddy. Hi. Are you gonna tell me now? No. Why not? Because it's private. You don't need to know every aspect of my life. Yes, I do. I'm your best friend. You may be my best friend, but that doesn't mean you need to get to know every aspect. Uh-huh. I mean, there's things you don't tell me. I tell you most things. But this is one of those things that are not in the most things. Why? Because I said so. But I don't like taking that for an answer because if you have a secret, I want to know it. Uh, I'm just shooting fireworks. <laughs> you're going to be late if you don't tell me where you're going. Oh, shoot. That's a heart one. Um, <laughs> uh, heart but, fireworks? Why would you choose heart fireworks? <gasps> Do you have a crush? No. Ready? You're getting no. Oh, Daddy! Yeah. All right, I guess I gotta meet him at the front door then, since somebody is willing to fall out of the world more than he is to tell me his secrets. What is going on with you? Uh, you don't, uh, need to know anything. Get back inside. Back inside. You're gonna fall off again. Oh, jeez, yeah. <sighs> Look, I don't need to tell you anything, okay? Just know that I'm gonna be out tonight. I probably won't be back for a little while. For how long? Uh, three hours? Four? Only three or four hours. Well, it is only just a mo movie. <clears throat> no. You're going to see a movie with somebody. What movie? Um, not gonna tell you. Is it The Flash? No. Is it the Spider-Man one? Yes. That's really interesting. What's so interesting about that? <laughs> because, well... I've been having some text conversations with a good friend of mine named Gregory. Oh? And he just so happened to tell me earlier today that he's going to see the Spider-Man movie. Well, uh, beat me in a game of chess and I'll tell you. Ha! Huh. You know I'm bad at chess. Exactly. Listen, I already know you're having a daddy Sunday with Gregory. There's nothing wrong with that. Why did you hide that from me as a secret? Because that's not only it's happening. What? <sighs> what is going on? Just tell me. Fine. <sighs> okay. So originally, I planned this whole family day with me, Gregory, and Roxanne. Go see a movie. Maybe take them to Dave and Buster's after or something, right? Sure. Well, turns out Gregory forgot to do his school project. Oh. So he has to pull an all-nighter on it. Well, he really shouldn't be going to the movies then if he has to pull an all-nighter on a school project. He's not going, that's the thing. Oh, I get it. So you're going by yourself so you don't waste the movie tickets. Well, you should have said so. I can go with you. Just let me grab my bag. I'm not going by myself. Then who are you going with? You promise not to laugh? No. You promise not to ridicule me for this later? No. 
you at least promise to listen without giggling at first. I will do my best. Okay, well, me and Roxanne talked about it. It seems like a waste to waste both the tickets and the reservation that we made. So she's trusting Gregory to stay home alone what? and me and Roxanne will be going to go see the movie and going to Dave and Buster's after. Okay. Just us two. All right, I'm confused. I mean, you and Roxanne are friends, why? <gasps> Oh. What? What? Oh, I see what's going on. Oh, this all makes so much sense. The cologne, the deodorant. I wear deodorant all the time. It is different, Freddy. Because normally I wouldn't think a whole lot about it. Sure, Gregory needs to work on his project. You and Roxanne are friends. Why wouldn't you go to the movies together? That's not where you... You, 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 you've been talking to her a lot lately, and now you're wearing cologne? That plus that plus, it's an equation, Freddy. Do you like her? <sighs> it's weird, okay? Because if you didn't like her, you probably would have just been like, hey, circus baby, I'm going to the movies. No big deal, but you're making it a big deal, Freddy. Mainly because I know you would make a big deal out of it. I'm not making it a big deal. I'm only making it a big deal because you made it a big deal with the clone and the deodorant and the secrecy. Can you stop mentioning the deodorant? I wear deodorant all the time. Bruh. No. Yes, I do. Just because I went one day without it because I ran out of the stick. And you smelled really bad. Okay, yes, that one day doesn't mean I don't wear deodorant. The I point, Freddy is you're making a big deal out of it. Why? Because I don't know if she is. Hmm. Look. I mean, you're both single. You've been for a while now. I'm in a happy relationship with Glamrock Bonnie because I know I complicate things quite a little bit. Quite a lot of it, actually. Yeah. But just like you were, I am supportive. If that's something you were worried about. You know, this is a complete 180, you know that? Oh, because, because you almost cried when I told you I was dating Roxanne in secret? I did not. You I did absolutely. Not. I saw tears in your eyes, Freddy. I supported you too. You did, but you also got mad. I got mad because you were hiding it from me. And look what you're doing now! Uh, I was emotionally unstable at that moment. You were. Okay. But this is a complete 180. It's a 180 because what happened every time I mentioned about going out with Roxanne when we first met? You hated the idea. Although I never found out why you hated the idea. Did you meet Roxanne back then? I hated her. Eh, true. I mean, do you remember how she was before you guys like broke up in high school or whatever? Or after high school because of the game or whatever, she got conceited. When I met her, that's how she was too. And granted, she's a lot better now. Okay, won't argue with that. But we've been hanging out a lot, okay? We've been doing a lot of co-parenting as of late. Oh, trust me, I know. I hear you guys on the phone literally all day. I think that's good. I mean, if you guys could make it work out and stuff. I'm probably thinking way too much into this. Is it even a date or is it more just like two parents hanging out? That's the thing. I don't know, okay? Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. Here, I'll show you, okay? Here's the text conversation that I had with Roxanne, okay? Uh -huh. Does any of that indicate that she wants us more to be a dick? Mm -hmm. I might be reading too much into this. Yeah, not really. It just looks like texts, honestly, between two parents that are co-parenting. So you might be reading too much into this. Mm. Hey, listen, you need to play it cool, play it coy, play it smooth. This is just a normal everyday outing with the mother of your child. <sighs> yeah. Don't overhype yourself about anything. Should I take off the cologne then? I would say dial it back like 50%. It is rather strong. Oof, okay. I'll go wash some of it off then. That might be a good idea. But just see where things go and let that happen naturally. You don't need titles or labels. Just, I know this is a foreign concept to you, but just have fun. I can have fun. When was the last time you had fun? Uh, we did that whole FNAF thing where I pretended to be an evil animatronic trying to kill you. <laughs> we did that for our job, Freddy. That was a video. Um, we played checkers the other night. That's a board game. Uh... The best fun thing that I can remember that you and I did was the chicken nugget nachos. They were good, but they were mostly air. Whatever. Look, I get it. Maybe I am reading too much in this and I don't know. Maybe I'm just happy that Roxanne maybe showed interest in me. I guess I never really got over her. That's understandable. What's that supposed to mean? 
She's hot. <sighs> like, be honest, do I even seem good looking at all? Um, I'm not gonna answer that. But why? I can say you are. You can say I'm what? Good looking? I mean, that's the whole reason Glamrock Bonnie fell for you, right? Uh, <laughs> um, <clears throat> I, I guess so. Uh, fine, Freddy. Yes, I, I think you're good looking. Oh, and thank you. I think you are deserving of love. Thank you. Though maybe this time I take it things extremely slow this time because honestly, it seems like that. Every time I even tried a relationship recently, it's been ending in literal fire, actually. that it, It's strange that it not only happened once, but twice. Yeah, I think I gave you this advice before, with, even with Ballora, but just have fun. It doesn't need to be so serious, even though Gregory is technically involved. He's older now. He's not... Well, he's still a kid, Oh, no. But... What? How's Gregory going to feel about all this? Well, I imagine he'd be pretty happy about it. Remember, he was also one of the biggest these two are not good together kind of person. <sighs> he was on the wedding records, yes. But that was because of everything involved with the maternity chip and all that. You realize Gregory and I would have supported your guys' relationship if we thought it was mutual, right? I guess, but also Gregory is also a troublemaker sometimes. I, I love him. He's my son, he always will be, but he might find this funny and try to mess with it. I see what you're saying. Maybe just keep it on the down low for now, see how it goes, and get a feeling for what Roxanne's thinking. I guess. And before you ask, no, I'm not bringing you anything from the Dave and Busters. Ugh, really? Look, if I win a prize, it goes to her. I mean, that's the only fair thing to do. Fine. Either way, it's getting pretty late. If you're gonna wanna make that movie, you might wanna get going. Oh, shoot. Wait, the cologne, I still need to wash it up. Okay, okay, hold on. Yep, hold on head no. upstairs. No, 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 no. Oh, oh or just use the sink. No, 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 no. Uh, okay, yep, uh-huh, uh-huh. Is, how, okay, is... smell, smell, is it bad? Okay. <laughs> much better, much, much, okay, much okay. more subtle. Okay, 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 uh, just wipe it off and then. Uh. You'll air dry on the way there. All right, all right, I gotta go. Yeah.